right, so I'm going to be going driving for dollars, which basically is you look for vacant homes or homes that look vacant. And two of the tools that I use are list source and deal machine. So I start out by using list source. You go to listsource.com and you sign in, you know, create an account. And what I do is I go to quick list or better yet, go to create your own. I started with create your own, click on create your own and you scroll down some so you can see what I'm doing. You start with geography and click criteria and I'm going to be doing county. Hopefully this camera stay focused so you can see. So I click on county, select my state that I'm in, and I'm in Florida right now. Um, click on Florida, and you click on whatever county. For this one, let's just do Duval County, Jacksonville, Florida. It's a big area. You go to add, and you edit the county. Okay, now, what you're gonna wanna do is go over property. Click on property, select the criteria that you want, and the criteria that we're going to be selecting is percentage of equity that you want. For me, I'm going to be doing from 99 to 100% equity. I'm going to add that. And as you can see, when I click add, the count up here goes down to 30,509. Okay, so once we got that in, we click on the criteria again. And this time we're going to do last market sale date. Um, I'm going to do for the last six months, you could do last nine months, but I usually wouldn't go over that, but I'm going to do for the last six months. So I'm going to click add, add it that. Now it's down to 1047. All right, next we're going to do back to the criteria. And now we are going to Click on property type. This is the type of property that you're going to be looking for. I'm looking for townhomes, click add, multifamily. Um, if you want to do mobile homes, you can, but I'm not looking for mobile homes right now. Duplexes triplexes quads and single family is what I will be looking for quad and single family all right now let's go to options now we're going to be looking for absentee owned. That's people who own the home but don't live there. Okay, trustee, we're going to exclude because the trust is pretty difficult to find sometimes. Um, now we're going to corporate owned and properties. I'm gonna click on no preference because you know, we're going to add those in there. Keep those in there. Oops. There we go. And now I want both mailing and property address. So if you look back up to your account, that leaves me with 1,119. Okay. So now what we're going to do is click on purchase list. 
but we're not actually purchasing your list. Now, I do have to admit, I learned this method through watching Max Maxwell. Um, he's very good at what he does. He pretty much what got me started, him and a few other people, um, got me motivated to do this. So I recommend checking out his channel. Also check out Wholesaling Inc. They're very good. Um, I'll add their link down below so you can check them out. But um, what we're gonna do now, like I said, we're not actually buying the list. We're going to purchase partial list. And we're going to click on custom selection. Now, go to the criteria. And we are going to go by zip codes. This is how I find my properties. So when you go down to zip codes, you want to look for the ones with the highest zip codes. So you can see you have 32210 has 100. 32218 has 104. 32244 has 138. So 32244 is the highest, but I've already went through that area, so there's no need for me to do that one again. But the next one would be 32218. So you can choose and pick what zip codes you wanna go out driving for dollars, looking in the area, going through neighborhoods. But what I also do is you could do this part on your phone, but I'm going to show you on my laptop just so you can get an idea. We're going to go to maps. Click on Google Maps. And you will put in the zip code three two two one eight hit enter and it will bring up that whole section that actually show you the border so this right here is the border this whole area three two two one eight that's where I would look at. Um, it's basically it. And so now I will get my car and drive through this area and see if I spot any vacant homes. This is basically the north side of Jacksonville. Uh, 32244 is the south side, basically Argyle Forest area close to Orange Park area. Um, so yeah, you get in your car, drive through neighborhoods, look for vacant homes, and I will show you how to use Deal Machine and go through that process. But also, you could put Deal Machine on your laptop, which I did right here. And you could also go through the street view and find homes and put the information do do machine on here and do it that way if you don't feel like leaving your home during this quarantine but for me i need to get out the house because i've been cooped up in the house too long and all right let's go let's jump in the car and start looking this right here is my deal machine app um which i use to go driving for dollars and i'm going to drive through neighborhoods find some vacant homes and show you how this works all right guys, so as I'm driving for dollars, this is one of the homes that I find. You can tell it's boarded up, nobody's living here. So this will be a perfect candidate for um, contacting the homeowner that's most likely an absentee owner um, and see if you can get a deal. So what I do is I go to my deal machine app and I find the address, click on it and it brings up the information of the homeowner. So I just add property. You can start mailers if you want and you can take a photo of the home. So this way it'll show up on the postcard when you send it. 
So I click on photo and then I just take photo. Okay guys, once you get your photo, you click okay. And there you go. Now your photo is saved to the mailer. You can start mailers and send out a postcard. And you pretty much do this through the whole neighborhood until you've got all the vacant homes or distressed properties that you see. And that's pretty much it. That's how you drive for dollars. And after that, you contact them and, you know, try to make a deal. It's easy. So we will continue driving through the neighborhood and see if we can find any more properties. Okay, guys, here we go. We have another property that looks distressed. Um, like I said, you just repeat the process. You take the photo, you put it on deal machine, and you start the mailer. You can also skip trace on deal machine is what I like about using this app. And it'll give you the address and phone number of the homeowner. Um, it's pretty accurate. So, I mean, it's a good tool to use if you're investing in properties. All right, so I'm back at home. Um, usually what I do, I'll go ahead and skip trace the um, homes that I found, driving for dollars, um, get the owner's information, reach out to them. And I would usually make a spreadsheet to um, keep all my information on the homeowners and keep everything organized. So this is an example of what my spreadsheet will look like. Um, having homeowners information, um, phone numbers, addresses, and you know, there's a process that you can go through to contact these people. Um, there's a bunch of different ways you could do it. You could just research on how. Um, you could do mass texts. You could do ringless voicemails. You can do um a bunch of different options but that's just part of skip tracing and going after calling these people the main thing is this is a numbers game the more homes the more people you have the better chance you are of finding a property and making a deal um but one of the main things that i've learned in this business is that you have to talk to people um you have to get out there build these relationships with people um Go in this as you're trying to solve a problem. Don't go in this thinking that you're going to make money because the money will come. But you have to go through with just being a human being at the end of the day. Um, being concerned and caring with what the person is going through that wants to sell their home. Because nine times out of ten, if they're coming to you, they can't sell their property through a realtor because whether the home is distressed um, they owe too much money on the home or whatever situation they're in they're basically coming to you for help so this is your job as an investor as a wholesaler to help these people i know a lot of people think this is a scam you're just beating people over the head on their homes and selling their homes for real cheap but that is completely not the case don't listen to people like that because they're usually broke and don't know what they're talking about. But um, you're usually giving these people top dollar or I wouldn't say top dollar, but basically more than what they would get through a realtor or if they tried to sell the home on their own. But I mean, every situation is different. Nobody's house is the same. So you also have to take that into consideration. But yeah, basically this is it. This is how you drive for dollars. Um, this is one of the steps that I use to find properties. Um, and there's other methods to do this, but this is one of the easiest um, ways that I feel that you can get out there and get started, get your feet wet and learn the business a little bit. And that's pretty much it. I want to thank everyone for watching. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. And from time to time, I'll give you more gems like this on real estate. And until next time, guys.